Howdy. Good evening. So this is attempt number four. Attempt number four today, I believe. I'm having some challenges and this is a different orientation. I'm sure you noticed before it was tall and now it's wide. Let me know which one you like better. Um, but hi, howdy. This is Sindel. Glad to see you again tonight. Um, okay, what do you notice? Think, think. Besides that there's um, no fence and I'm kind of off an angle and no plantage that you can see from where you're looking. It's this, right? This, right? Yeah, totally. Cool. Got myself bunny ears because those are nice, right? Okay. So, cool story about this. So I currently have a part-time on-call position and I was working a shift this weekend and somebody came by after hours and gave me a tip, which was great. I told them they didn't have to. They left me the tip anyway. And really, really thankful because you saw my hair yesterday. I wasn't pleased with it and I wanted a different cut to start my new full-time job that starts in person next week. Last two weeks plus this week, I've been doing um, pre-work paperwork and onboarding documents and coursework and yeah so there's been a lot of stuff to get ready for plus i have stuff around the house that i'm working on um it's not really obvious how much i'm working on it right now because there's so much to work on but i am doing what i can but all that to say is so that combined with my picture froze that was weird one of the things I, I had set up today is I had done this in the house twice and on the computer and it was supposed to be really, really good. So I was using my phone to record and then I turned the phone and show the pictures I had brought up on the screen on the computer, which were great, but we're not there now. So anyways, this picture I want to show you is, is this gal right here. I'm going to lean forward with it. Maybe you can see it. One right here. Yeah. So that's that's dark. Sorry. It's the best I can do. Anyways, her name is Jen. She's one of my housemates. That was actually a picture of us taken on a, a bus over at Zoo. I think it was Zoo Lights or something like that for Christmas last year or the year before. Anyways, all that to say is um, she gave me a haircut coupon, so I got it for half off so I could afford it, which was fantastic. And I'm very thankful for that. So between the tipper that God brought into my life to let me have enough money to get a haircut. Yay, thank you. And my housemate who had a coupon available to give me. That was fantastic. I also want to say thank you to pardon the noises in the background. The wind, I'm sure you can see the wind's picking up and it's picking up my uh, my empty pots that I've got set around my, my garden beds. But anyways, so a few a few weeks ago, my friend, oh, wait, before I get that far. Um, so I want to give a shout out and say thank you to Laura and Shanna for commenting and liking on um, my Facebook page this, this video. From yesterday, they went as far as to even, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cultivating Sindel, which I'm thankful for, and I really do appreciate that. So that was great of you guys. So I'm sorry I'm at this angle. I've just got this really weird ad hoc last minute setup. But anyways, a friend of mine from a different part of Oregon um, had posted a few weeks back these cute cards she had made, and one of them had a cat on them possibly too, but at least the one that I mentioned to her, I thought was absolutely beautiful. I loved it. And she asked me to give her my address and she said that I might find something in the mail, which was really cool. I would have been happy with a photograph of her card. It was that pretty, but she sent me the actual card and it came in the mail today. 
So it came without the blue. I just did that for personal security reasons for both of us. But the very first time I did this on the video today, I hadn't seen it yet. So I opened it for the first time on live, not really live, live now, but not when you see it, um, TV video. And it was fun. And it was fun the second time, but it wasn't for the first time. And it's probably still going to be fun. Still not the first time. So you'll notice in the back, there was this really cool butterfly. He got kind of mangled, but he got kind of mangled before he got to me. So, um, he, he lost it in transit, but you know, I got to give credit to the, um, people at the USPS. Shout out to Kirby Hess. Hi Kirby. Um, that's one of Jen's sisters, my housemate, Jen's sister. Um, she's got two because she's a sister too. So there's two of her, no, there's one of her, two sisters and two brothers. So anyways, shout out to Kirby. That's all I got. Anyways, so the USPS probably hand canceled things a long time ago, but I think that went out with the uh, Pony Express. Correct me if I'm wrong, Kirby. Um, so this, I don't know if you can see this, this is this really cool envelope edge. Isn't that cool? I like that a lot. It's really neat. So I love the butterfly and I love the card and I like that you wrote Miss Sindel and check this guy out. Look at this. Is this beautiful or what? Look what she did. She totally did this by hand. Is that not awesome? And she also did um, something on the inside. She wrote on the inside and I'm trying to cover that. There we go. Did I mention her name's Angie? But I wanted to show you that absolutely adorable ball of, of yarn with the little heart on it. Isn't that cute? So, so yeah, so this, I lost him. <laughs> okay. So this, so I'm really thankful to get that today. That was really fun. Um, I, I feel like I'm at one of my first um, cert exercises where we were out in the wind and I didn't have a way to batten down the paperwork and kind of a, kind of a wild ride there. So, yes. So, um, yes, I'm reading notes. You can't see me. I'm bending over all as far as I can go. Okay. Um, so, oh yeah, so the hair. So, I plan to dye it. I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay. I plan to dye it brown. I'm hoping that it that will come off without a hitch. Last time I tried to dye my hair brown and I wanted to show you a photo of that, but it's on the computer or it's on the phone, but I can't do both. Sorry. Um, all this area, kind of like from here to here, um, because it's been dyed for so many years, wouldn't turn. It would, it, it would only go lighter. It would not go brown. So I had to actually dye my hair black and then eventually let it go out and so we're going to, I've got two boxes of brown, so we're going to see how that goes and we'll start with that this week and hopefully it'll be a thing, a good thing. And I won't have to run to the store with a little bit of money I've got left and fetch black hair coloring, coloring. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and what else? Um, oh, frizz. That's the other thing I want to show you. Uh, maybe I can put it on the Facebook page. So. It, it kind of looks frizzy now, right? It really looks frizzy when I get out of the shower. Wow. But, you know, my friend Deirdre can attest to that. She watched it when it was longer. She watched it frizz up fully. And then two, I told her two hours later to be flat. And she's like, hmm. But she had curly hair. So that was, you know, that was totally her experience. And from what I understand, that's most people's experience with people with curly hair. It, it And then it stays unless you brush it out. And we sat talking for two hours and it was flat as a fritter by the end of that time. But, um, so if you've got ideas on how to naturally defrizz my hair, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate hearing those maybe in the comments here or comments on Facebook where I post the link. That would be splendiferous. I would really appreciate that. Um, the cheaper, the better, because right now, oh, I guess I haven't mentioned that. So I've got a full-time job starting in person on, mo on Monday the 13th. I'm very excited about that. And, and so that's, that's it in a nutshell. I'm bending over to read my notes because it's been a long day. 
and <laughs> oh, 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 I wanted, I wanted to, okay, so yesterday at church, one of my friends, Jim Cunningham, told this great joke, okay, are you ready for it? He will be handing out used batteries, no charge, get it? That's my kind of joke. You know, no one gets made fun of. It's just really funny. I like those. So um, hopefully I conveyed that appropriately and it, it came across. Um, oh, I feel like I'm just staring at paper while you guys sit there and go, what is she going to say next? Um, oh, I've said, um, how many times have I said, um, count it for me. Tell me in the comments, please. Thank you. I'm really hoping that this little post run is tried to upload. It's clogged. It's stuck. It's been interesting very interesting. A little frustrating, but interesting. Um, well, there's another one. So the reason it's like this now and it was inside earlier is because I didn't get out here in time this morning before the, um, the bake oven we call the sun was out and frying my skin. I am very susceptible to heat. Uh, Sunday night, um, afternoon and night, I got heat exhaustion twice. So that that's a real thing for me and I have some other challenges that go along with that but it it fries me up pretty quick and it chews me up and spits me out so I try to avoid the heat so hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be back on the ball better and I'll be back out in the morning and hey, but, so the very first time I did this this afternoon in the house I, I thought I had set the recording I set the phone out and I talked and it was an almost 12 minute presentation and I was done and I went to go turn off the recorder and I didn't have to, you know why? Cause it hadn't recorded anything. Yay. Not yay. But I'm not sure how long this was going to be right now. I tried to shrink it down, but it might be between 11 and 12 minutes again, hopefully not longer. But, um, I just wanted to say there's a, I'm, I'm really, I really enjoy coming out here and talking with you guys. And there's a lot to chat about. I mean, I, there's so much, so much I'm interested in and so much I want to learn and grow from and so much I'd like to share. And if there's anything in particular you'd like me to chat about with you, let me know. Um, Laura talked about um, the, the personal first aid kit. So I wanted to, uh, to mention this. Oh, it takes a few seconds to get together. So... I like to hang mine on the outside of my purse because it's easier to get to. If I give myself a good old scrape and I'm bleeding, I don't want to be down here digging and bleeding on everything by the time I find it underneath, you know, two books, five notepads, and, you know, a bevy of pins. So I like to keep my little cheers bag just hooked right here, and then I can just take a little tinny carabiner, pop it off if I switch a bag out. And because it's right here, it reminds me to do that because I don't always really need this. So, um, again, this adorable, cute cheers bag my niece Shanna gave me. So, yay! Um, that's just the other thing I want to mention about that. But so, if you want me to talk more about the larger first aid bag I have, or how I made a determination what works best for me in the personal first aid bag, or if you want to see my garden area I've been working on. Or, um, I'm kind of hoping to come out this week, depending on whether or not we have a fire ban again, because it's getting hot. And, um, I, th I cut down as much mint as I could and threw it in the fire ring to like dry out. And then I want to light it up and light up the wood, put the grill on top and sear some peppers and see how I can do, you know, making campfire chili rianos. <laughs> I love those things. Um, I had gotten a Problano and an Anaheim chili. So I'm, I'm a, if you want to like come along with me while I do that, that's great too. So if something else is your cup of tea, let me know. I, I'd like to hear it. Um, just drop me a note and say howdy and tell me what, what, if any of those suggestions sound great or, uh, if there's anything else, just let me know. So again, thank you for watching. Um, I used to be a, my non-humble moment, a pretty decent public speaker, but I haven't gotten to do a lot of public speaking for a long time. 
and if you don't use it, you lose it. So I'm really enjoying this also as an opportunity to strengthen my public speaking skills, which are clearly kind of weak um, right now. But I look forward to getting stronger at them again and not saying um so many times and not having to sit here with a notepad off camera as my personal teleprompter and keep glancing over at it. So anyways, I hope you have a great evening. I My goal for tomorrow again is to get this out in the morning, at the very least get it recorded in the morning. And I hope you have a great rest of the week as well. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And Bye for now.